and welcome back to another episode of the Maverick Showdown, our brand new game show here on CMU TV. Game show is pretty simple. We have four categories, five questions in each category. Each question will be worth one point, and whoever has the most points at the end of the show will be victorious. I am your host, Sean Sullivan. And before we dive in, I'd like to give another shout out to our sponsor, Jimmy John's. If you're feeling a little hungry, head down to Jimmy John's, say CMU TV sent you, and get yourself a sub. Contestant number one, what is your name and what is your major? My name's Adelaide, and I'm a business major. What do you want to businessify with your major? I want to go into marketing. You want to go into marketing? Mm -hmm. Are you feeling confident in your trivia knowledge, Abby? No. No? <laughs> Hopefully you can prove yourself wrong. Contestant number two, what's your name and what is your major? My name is Lydia, and I'm a business entrepreneurship major. What do you want entrepreneur, Lydia? I am uncertain. Uncertain? uncertain? Yes. Natural. <laughs> what are you feeling is going to be your strongest category here today? I'm going to go with music. Go with music? That's number three. What is your name? What is your major? Uh, my name's Olivia. I'm a biology major. What do you want to biology <laughs> <laughs> Uh I have a minor in forensics, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, how are you feeling in your trivia knowledge? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Hoping for the best. Well, with that, the stage is set, and so are we. Addy, choose our first category that we're going to dive into here today. I say music. We're going to dive into music first. Contestants, I will play a section of a song. Buzz in when you know it. Our first song mm -hmm. is... Any guesses? No guesses. Stump Rudy off the bat. That song was. It was. Viva La Vida by Coldplay. Let's see if this second song. We'll fare any better. Second song is... Olivia. Uh, fireflies? Was it Fireflies? <laughs> it sure was. You jump on the board first, Liz. Let's reset our lights and dive into our third song. For the massive, who do you think you are? Olivia. Thunder. Is it Thunder? So I'm going to roll here a little bit with our fourth question. The fourth music okay. question, which is... Olivia. Trumpets. Is it trumpets? <laughs> we are on a streak here. Let's see if you can clap, cap it out with our final <laughs> music question. Olivia. Never mind, I blinked. <laughs> Lydia. Uh, Melody. Um, Sean Kingston. Is it Melody by Sean Kingston? It is Wait, not. It oh. is Replay by I As. Clear not a lot. 2,000 pop fans in the house. Let's reset our lights and get into uh, our next category. Olivia, you got the last question correct. What category are you jumping to next? Uh, movies. We're going to movies. Uh, our first movie question of the day is... Who co-starred alongside Ryan Gosling in The Notebook? Any rom-com fans in the house? I love The Notebook. The Notebook. Any guesses? The answer was... Rachel McAdams. Rachel? If the question was flipped, I know. McAdams. <laughs> Alrighty, our next movie question is... Just in time to get Mila Kunis, who was her co-star in... Friends with Benefits. Who co-starred alongside Neil Kunis in Friends with Benefits? He's a pop star. Addy? No. Any guess? I'm just going to guess Ashton Kutcher. Is it Ashton pop. Kutcher? Good guess, but it was Justin Timberlake. Boo-hoo. Our third <laughs> movie question is, the character needs a green card in The Proposal. Who needs a green card? In the proposal. Any guesses? The answer is Sandra Bullock. Uh -huh. Our <laughs> next movie question is. All right, all right, all right. Who said it? Who said? All right, all right, all right. Lydia. Um. Well, Matthew McConaughey. Is the answer Matthew McConaughey? You are on the board, Lydia. Matthew McConaughey is correct. I believe we have one more movie question. Who co-starred alongside Adam Sandler in 50 First Dates? 
who co-starred alongside Adam Sandler in 50 First Dates? The answer would be Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Movies, <laughs> not as successful as we would like. Let's jump into our next category, sports or pop culture. Lydia, where are we going to? Um, let's get sports out of the way. Let's get sports <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> For this category in sports, I'm going to name an athlete, and you have to tell me their oh, nickname. Uh -huh. Let's see how this goes. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq. You know what? You know? We'll yeah. give it to you as Shaq. That is technically his nickname. We're looking for the big diesel. Batty, you are on the board with Shaq. That is one of his many <laughs> nicknames. Let's reset the lights and get into our next Please athlete. Our next athlete is Joe Namath. <laughs> Addy? Mammoth. Is it Mammoth? <laughs> it's Broadway Joe. Well, you know, his Honestly, name sounds like Mammoth. So it does. I'm I, just trying to think. You're using your context because I, I can't blame you for people. that. Mammoth is a good guess. Thanks. Our next athlete is Wayne Gretzky. Any hockey fans in the house? Does anyone have any great guesses? Any great guesses for Wayne Gretzky? One great guess for Wayne Gretzky. No? Alrighty. The answer is the great one. The great one. Is Wayne Gretzky's nickname. Our next athlete is. Oh boy, Julius Irving. Any 80s basketball fans in the house today? I thought these would be like more uh, point oriented. Like, how many points do you score with this? Fair enough. The answer is. Dr. J. I wouldn't have been any good at that. Our <laughs> final athlete is David Ortiz. <laughs> any Red Sox fans in the house today? <clears throat> the answer is <laughs> Big Poppy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Big Poppy. Let's see if pop culture can save the day. I believe we have Olivia in the lead. Olivia's in the lead. Let's go. All right, let's see if Olivia can maintain the lead here as we go into pop culture. Our first pop culture question is... It is... <laughs> our first pop culture... Let's first pop culture question. Pop culture. One point. Pop culture. Pop culture. First pop culture question is, which famous pop star started her career in the group Destiny's Child? Lydia. Beyonce. Is it Beyonce? Back on track, Beyonce <laughs> saves the day, what's new? Our next pop culture question is, how many Harry Potter movies have been released? Addie. Eight. Is it the Ocho? Nice. It absolutely is. Eight Harry Potter movies. Let's go. Our next pop culture question is... What was the name of the former One Direction member Nile Horn's first solo studio album? Nile Horn's first solo album away from One Direction. <coughs> I got nothing. Got nothing? The answer is... Flicka. Oh, oh. Flicker. We're all learning yeah. learn something here today. Yeah. Have fun. Okay, True. our next pop culture question is... In the TV show The Office, who dates Pam's mother? Who dates Olivia? Michael. Is it Michael? It sure is Michael. I don't remember that at all. Olivia's on fire right now. <laughs> Our next pop, pop culture question is, what is the longest running game show in television history? The longest running game show. Addy? 47 years. I'm looking for the name of the game show. Well, can we just go with this one? Yeah. Maverick Showdown? Yeah. That has been going for four hours? Yep. <laughs> Let's have a different guess. Anyone else have a different guess? The most longest running game show. What's that one with Steve Harvey? <laughs> Is it the one with Steve Harvey? Oh, pause. Can I have another guess? <laughs> sure. The Price is Right. Is it The Price is Right? Or the, the, price. Price. Oh, the Price is Right. <laughs> 
First try. <laughs> it is the price is right. Alrighty. <laughs> Rounding out our pop culture question. It is. <laughs> that was the last one, which means Olivia. You are victorious here today. Congratulations to Olivia on being <laughs> the Mav Up champion here on the Mavic Showdown. I've been Sean Sullivan, and we will see you on our next episode of the Mavic Showdown.